So I got a message last night about how some dude on Discord went off about how he thinks art should be controlled, focused, lighthearted, and for everyone. Now, while I do think that this is one of the stupidest and closed-minded fucking takes about art, I'm one to believe that everyone is entitled to having their own preferences of entertainment as long as it's something they alone are fine with liking. But considering that they talked down to others and even insulted friends of mine and used the freedom of speech excuse to try and write away everything you say, yeah, um, I don't think I'm gonna keep silent about that shit. So let's talk about how fucking stupid this take is, cause it's not just self-centered dumbasses on Discord with no reality check that try to excuse their desire to not want to feel uncomfortable with using children as a shield. This shit is, and has always been, echoed by other people in the fucking world, and I've never agreed with it. Fucking once. The thing that makes the world of art so beautiful, at least to me, is how multi-layered and complex the different pieces of drawn, sculpted, painted, performed, and written art and so on can be. There's artwork out there that can touch the hearts of so many with how many risks they take, how well they portray subjects or groups, or how sympathetic or empathetic they make certain matters, and so on. To me, what makes art so wonderful is that it, along with the artists, are free to make it so wonderful. Or at least in theory, cause I don't know if you know about what's been going on for so many years now, but people have had problems with stuff that's either intentionally problematic, uncomfortable, or just not for younger audiences and wanting it to be banned, cancelled, taken down, etc. And many of these people will just use others as a shield to back up their beliefs, in most cases, the children. Certain books focused on important subjects are getting banned from school libraries because certain parents out there think it's not what their children should be reading. And look, I'm not about to tell you what your kids should and shouldn't partake in, but if how uncomfortable you are towards these pieces of media being shown to your children gives you the bright idea to actually ban these books on behalf of every child in that school, that says more about how problematic you are than these books. I'm gonna give you a true story. Back when I was a kid in school, my teacher wanted us to read the series Mouse. To those that don't know, it's a historical fiction about World War II and the Nazis, replacing actual races with animals such as mice, cats, and pigs. And honestly, I think it's one of the best historical fiction titles out there. I was in a restaurant talking to my dad and the book and dis just discussing it and how focused on what time period and what we thought about it. And this dad, who was just with his family behind us, overheard our conversation, and when they were done and got up to leave, he came up to us and genuinely thanked us for having this conversation. The reason why I brought up that book and why I liked it so much is because years later, I found out that the book has been banned from school libraries. Here's a question I have to ask the people who have this mindset of art shouldn't be uncomfortable and or problematic and use the children as a shield. If you have such a big problem with your kids reading, listening, or watching pieces of art that you deem as problematic, why don't you just turn it off for them specifically? And if the excuse is, well the school wants my child to read this book so they obviously need to stop forcing children to have to read this, I mean one, no, the school's not forcing your kids to do this. They're not forcing children to read, listen to, or watch something that you deem is problematic. It's either an assignment they have to do for school to get good grades and be on their way to graduate, or they personally wanted to look at it because it interested them. Your kids are not helpless. They're not individuals that you constantly need to speak on behalf of. They're people as well. Talk to them, understand where their heads are at with different pieces of art. Maybe relate to them why you would prefer why they didn't digest this media. Just because kids are ignorant doesn't mean that they're helpless. And just because you think a piece of art is problematic doesn't mean that everyone else thinks the same. Maybe take into consideration that you have a problem with wanting the spotlight. Maybe the bigger issue isn't these works of art being free and available for students to read or watch or listen to in their free time, but rather that instead of better addressing why you personally have a problem with it, you've decided to make it everyone else's problem because you don't feel comfortable enough letting it be your own issue as opposed to speaking on behalf of someone else. And if the excuse is freedom of speech, it's hypocritical when you're actively trying to censor, control, and remove works of art for being in line with that exact freedom. Honestly? I'll fully admit I'm kind of an asshole, and at times, I will act up to the point of antagonizing even my friends and or family. But one, I fully own up to the fact that that's my problem. And two, I'm a mental wreck and trying to get better. At no point do I ever try to cover the world in bubble wrap because of things that make me uncomfortable or things that aren't for me. To me, art has the ability to tackle certain subjects and touch certain people's hearts 
far better than any lecture in school, motivational speaker, or even conversations in real life could ever do. And look, I do believe that it's perfectly fine to have pieces of art and media out there that do follow that line of thinking of being safe, lighthearted, and for general audience. Not every piece of art has to challenge the mind or drag people out of their comfort zone. That's fine! But this unrealistic mentality that art should be for everyone or art is problematic and needs to be removed doesn't account for the reality that art shouldn't be for everyone. <laughs>